Hey everybody, uh, it is Jennifer for Magic Monthly, and before I get into my unboxing today, I wanted to uh, quickly show you the influencer box that I got. Um, hold on, there's a big dramatic reading I'm supposed to do. This product was sent to me for free from Influencer for testing purposes. Okay, so now that that's over with, let me share with you, because I was so excited um, to get this box. Uh, I've only gotten a handful, maybe I think three influencer boxes, so whenever I get them, I'm super, super excited. But this one was a good one. It really was, and I've been testing these products, and I've loved both of these. So this is from Huda Beauty, and this is two of their Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks in the colors Joyride and Interview, and I'll swatch those for you. Um, and it's a weird sort of shape, and basically it's it's got a point on it so that you can line with it and everything blah, 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 blah. but let me go ahead and show you these colors um, since we are doing a makeup box today I'll probably end up wearing these um, if there isn't a lipstick in the box so they come in these outer shells I've literally just been holding on to those so I can show you guys uh, so let me get rid of that and one thing I will say about um, these products you can see they're very similar but one is warm toned and one is cool toned they're both neutrals uh, but one thing I do love is that there is a magnet like right here in the base and I love that because you don't ever have to worry about it popping off in the drawer and getting everywhere or breaking or anything like that. So let me just quickly swatch these for you. They are both very pigmented and I'm just going to tell you I'm loving this formula. I thought I was going to love the cool toned more um, but actually the warm toned suits me a bit better. So this is interview up here, and this is Joyride right here. So you can see uh, Joyride is the cool toned, and interview is the warm toned, warm toned right here. And like I said, it actually looks a bit better on me, the cool toned, uh, not as much, but it, it still, you know, is wearable. It just is a bit darker on me. So those are the two colors. I really have um, enjoyed that formula. It doesn't really dry out your lips, not like a liquid lipstick. It is definitely drying because it is a lipstick, but not as much as a liquid lipstick. And I've been putting a gloss on top of it and ready to go. It has been gorgeous. But I have an unboxing for you guys today. All right, as you can see, my hair is an absolute wreck and it's because it's pouring the rain outside, it's humid, all the things. So just bear with me. But today I have my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus to share with you guys for May. And I'm super excited um, about this. I've been loving this box. There's only been a couple of misses for me. And generally speaking, it's been pretty on point. So let's jump into this and see if we can keep up our good luck streak. All right, so when you pull out the little card, it says, uh, may your dreams are your realities in waiting. Okay. So when it goes over all the products, I'm not going to look at everything because we want to look at it as we go. But let's see if we do made value. Let's see. You guys know how this works. Honestly, it's Monday morning and I just don't even know what I'm saying. All right. So the first thing that we have is this face hero. What is this? A powerful and protective face oil. I got my first face oil in a Beauty Fix Derm store and I use it every single day. Like, so I probably won't open this until I finish that beauty oil um, or finish that facial oil. I love it. It makes it my moisturizer. It's really changed my skin game. Um, and I have oily skin, by the way. But it's really slowed down my oil production. All right, so it says this multitasking good for you cocktail of natural ingredients comes to the rescue by hydrating parched skin, brightening dull complexions, and soothing inflammation. It also helps combat fine lines, dark spots, and early signs of aging. No worries about residue. Here's looking at you, oily and combination complexions. Your skin will soak it up quickly. So it says massage five drops on a clean skin after your daily serum and before moisturizer or mix a few drops into your favorite moisturizer and rub into your skin. So I, like I said, I mix it in. I do not do five drops also, that's probably a lot. So I do two or three. Um, Packaging is really, really cute. I love this like peachy coral that it's in. Um, I know I just said I'm not gonna open this, but I wanna smell it, so. I don't, it doesn't, <laughs> there is a little bit of a fragrance, but it, it smells like oil, not like floral or something like that. So, as natural fragrance. Um, 
orange blossom and rose gardenia. I don't really smell that. Mm, maybe a hint of it. I don't know. It's the value on this is $34. So that is exciting. I will try that out um, and let you guys know. I love a good face oil. So I'm excited about that. Um, the next thing I'm going to pull out is going to be the palette this month. And this is by Wonder Beauty and this is called the Wondrous Seascape. So that is interesting. This value is $25. Um, and this said, it, this has a mix of foil, shimmery, satin, and matte finishes in shades of seafoam, deep blue, sandy brown, yada, yada, yada. We'll look at them in a second. Um, so this is taped really good. So this may take just a second to get into. I'll be right back. All right, back. I tore that box all two pieces getting into there. So I do like the packaging. Um, my husband and I are going on a cruise next month. So this is very cruise-like. I'm getting all the cruise vibes. So I do like the packaging here. Um, it has a mirror, which is much appreciated. Now let's take a look at these colors. All right. Um, it says one matte, and I think there is a matte. Definitely sea foiled. I think the blue is a satin. So there's there's a couple of different formulas in here. So let me show you these colors. So let me go ahead and swatch them. So these colors swatched really nice, all except one, which I had a little bit of trouble with. Um, but let me show you. So this is the Champagne Harbor. This is the Sea Salt. And I mean, guys, look at this. This is incredible. And this is that Golden Reef. Um, this is the Blue Coastal, which I'm sure draws everybody's eye. I think that is a satin finish. Um, and here we have the Matte, which is called Sand Dollar. And this is the only one that I had a problem with. And this is the sea foam, and it's a bit chunky. That's the only thing. Everything else, um, and it was fine. I mean, I could work with it. It's no big deal. But it was a bit chunkier than the other colors. Everything else was incredible. Um, the one thing I will say is that I'm probably going to have to dip into another palette when I use this one on the regular because it only has one matte shade. So I probably will pull from other palettes. Um, I just wiped that off, just dry wiped, and you can still see some of the residue. So I think it's probably gonna be a good formula. Uh, I'm one of those people that love Wonder Beauty mascara. I use it every single day. Um, I got it in a BoxyCharm the first time, and I've since got it in an Ipsy. And I know there was a lot of people that were unhappy with the Wonder Beauty. I personally loved it. So I am excited and anxious and hopeful that I'm gonna love these for, uh, eyeshadows. So, I will get back to the unboxing in a second, but very quickly, I'm going to do a quick eyeshadow look with this palette. Uh, don't expect a lot. Like I said, it's Monday morning, and we only have one matte shade. So, it's probably going to be some basic, but let me jump right into here and take that off the mirror, and I'll be right back with you. <music>
that looks really good, but I do want to just go in, see if I can just do real extra if I get the, get the brush wet. So I'm gonna use these fly wings um, that came with the fair brush, and I've actually found that it's pretty good for packing, especially wet. So just if you have those brushes, that is something. So I have wet this brush. Let's go back in with the seafoam green. It's not picking up on the brush like super intense. That seems to be unsuccessful. So I think that probably your best bet is just going to have to just go in and really pack with the finger and just get as much pigment as you can. But, um, I really like that a lot. I think that turned out really pretty. So let me go to the other side real quick and I'll be right back. Touch, I'm gonna take some more of that Champagne Harbor. I'm gonna pop that right there on the inner corners. I really, really like this palette. Um, the blue just blended incredible. And I'll be honest, I didn't, there was nothing about this palette when I first looked at it that just screamed like, oh, I'm gonna love this. It's, it's great, it's amazing. But I really, really like it a lot. And to be honest, like this, um, I could blend this blue forever because you know it's blue and it's a little bit harder to blend, but I'm gonna have to stop myself for sake of time. Um, but I will tell you, like, I love this. I love this look. I have this like this sand meets ocean meets surf, um, you know, meets a little bit of a golden sun up here. So there's a lot happening and I would not have thought that I like that as much as I do, but I'm starting to get into the obsessive territory where I wanna just keep blending and blending and blending and blending. Um, just because blues, I love blues. I love blues because I have blue eyes and I think blues are really flattering, but man, they are so, so tough to blend out and just make seamlessly natural. So okay, I'm going to stop myself because I'm starting to blend into oblivion. Um, but I think overall, I, I really do like the look. I would probably like to blend out these outer edges just a bit more because um, they look a little bit harsh for time's sake. I'm gonna stop myself. Anyway, that was the Wonder Beauty Wondrous Seascape Eyeshadow Palette, $25. All right, so forcing ourselves to move on. We have three other things. So let me go ahead and grab the next thing. So this is, what is this? This is Il Maquillage, I-L, Il Maquillage. Is that right? Um, a high, Icon High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara, $25. So that's really good. It says, don't worry about clump, put as many coats as you want for extra length and volume. So, always down to try a new mascara. I do like the packaging, that is pretty. So let's go ahead and look at this wand. The wand is interesting. Okay, so here's my experience. Uh, it's a very lightweight formula. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy, like, um, you know, superhero, how it feels a little bit heavy. It doesn't have that. Um, lengthening, check. Volumizing, uh, I do not see evidence of that. And clumping, it did clump, and I had to sort of comb through. So let me get closer. Let me get all up in your business. So you can see that it, they do look um, quite substantially longer, but the volume is not there. Uh, from the side, you can see here, um, side looks okay, but my hair is so dark, it's hard to see. Uh, but I wouldn't say that there's like an intense volume going on. There is length, and I do appreciate that. But, you know, I'm going to probably pair that maybe with my Wonder Beauty, and I could probably make some amazing lashes, but I do think I'm gonna need a double dose of something else. But it is worth having for $25 and trying out and seeing if there's some ways that we can make that better. All right, so it looks like we have two things left. 
Um, one is a gloss and I don't know what this is. What is this? So this is a Illa Masqua. Two colors, Lust and Media. It says Lust is a coral pink, Media is a cranberry red. And these are lip liners. So let me, oh my gosh, these boxes are so hard to get into. So this is $21 each is what they're saying. $21 each for both lip liners or each? <laughs> That's a lot for a lip liner, and you get two. Like, that's just amazing. Um, this packaging is a lot. All right, so here they are. Are these? These are wooden pencils. These are not retractable, so you will have to have a sharpener. And here are the two colors. So here are the two colors, Lust, Media. Um, I like Lust a bit better. Media is, um, it just like, looks like a darker version of lust honestly i can see the cranberry but i don't see the red all right so i'm going to go in with lust since i like that one a bit better let's just go ahead and line away <laughs> It feels like a really good formula. Um, it did glide on quite a bit, so that was really nice and unexpected. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these Huda Beauty. Um, I'm gonna go in with Interview since that one is my preferred. Just so you can see what these look like as well. Again, this is Interview. Lust Pink Shade is not the best lip liner for this. I would have rather had a, ne a neutral. Or I'm good with it. That's fine. Um, especially for testing. So that lip liner was $21 each, which is crazy. All right. So the last thing that we have is a Tokyo Milk, which I'm very familiar with. And this is a lip gloss. It says it doesn't feel tacky and it has a wash of pink color and it won't get stuck in your hair, which I'm very doubtful about that. But that'd be awesome if that were true. I love a good lip gloss. Ooh, I do like the packaging. Look how pretty. That's nice. I do like that packaging. And is this a doe foot? It is. It's like a baby doe. Hmm. Honestly, a little of that goes a long way. You really don't need a whole lot because it is so sort of moisturizing. I can't say that it's tacky. I mean, it feels wet, but not really tacky. It feels like I just licked my lips and got them like super wet. I really like that a lot. So um, again, ignore my blending. Oh, it's driving me crazy because as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna go and blend that blue out like crazy, but anyway. So this is the look that we created, um, and overall, I really do like it. I think it's really pretty. I really like that palette, and I'm going to go ahead and put the total value on screen now. It kind of blows my mind. Like, I cannot believe, looking at these prices, that I got this for $25. So once again, I'm very happy with Ipsy, and I think this month was a total win. Um, please let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? Did you get the exact same box? Did you get a different box? Are you still happy with this um, box? Again, I canceled BoxyCharm for this, and I still feel like that was the best decision for me. So, I'm loving this box. All right, guys, that's it for me. I will see you next time. Please let me know in the comments down below what you think and how you're using this palette, if you got it, and all the good things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.